today we're going to look at how to create a 000webhost.com website. So let's get started. We're going to go to 000webhost.com and I want you to notice something here on this site. There is a free hosting section. Wow, we don't even have to pay for anything. Price, zero, disk space, 1500 megabytes. Great, that's the one we want. So let's sign up. I'm going to click the sign up button and let's start reading. I want to host my own domain. Domain must be registered already. Well, here's the thing. If you don't already have a domain or if you don't know what that is, you probably don't have a domain. We don't need this option. Okay, even if you do have a domain, my preference would be let's not transfer it over here. Let's not do anything with that one. Leave it alone. What we're going to do is number two here. Choose your free subdomain. And what that means is they have this uh, domain purchase, net63.net, and they're going to break it up into smaller subdomains. So we're going to get to choose a name of our own to put in this box. And I'm going to choose NLC students. That's just for me. You get to choose your own, okay? I'm going to fill in my name, my email, a password that I make up, and if we scroll down to the bottom, we have to type these two words in the box, and sometimes they're hard to read. I think this one is C E. S S H W E capital S P A N and we click the box to agree to the terms of service and now we can create our account. Okay. Now in my case I had already walked through these steps, so I'm already registered and I'm supposed to log on. Well, before I can log on, they're going to send me an email. It's it's a confirmation email. It's going to look something like this confirm your registration it's going to have a link in it and if we click that link let's hope this works it's going to take me out and look i'm logged in how cool is that here is my domain that i created earlier nlcstudent.net78.net okay that's one i created earlier i just had to get that email first before I could get this video going. So I'm going to click on this domain and it tells me my website is up and running. Oh that's pretty cool. So there's this page default.php. I'm going to click on that. Let's see what happens. And nothing happens. Oh this is default.php. This is the default uh, web page that they put out there for you. Okay, as a .php extension. And I'm going to go ahead and close it and come back into this members area. All right. And let's look around in here. Okay. It's not much to really see here. What I'm going to do is close this link and go back into the members area on the previous screen and I'm going to log in so the email that I used should log me in and it keeps asking for this this word I gotta type this in submit It's the same place where I was before. Just want you to get oriented with this. I have to get oriented with it every time I see it. Ah, there is something different now. This is what I wanted that I didn't see in the other screen. Here's my domain. This is a list of my domains. Here's my domain, NLC student. And it's active. And now under the actions, and maybe this was here before and I just didn't see it, but there's a go to C panel. That's for your control panel. Let's click that link. You get a lot of other icons. So there's 
there are other functions that you can perform and things that you can do. View account details, change account password. Okay, that's cool. Let's scroll down a little bit. And you will find a files section under files, view FTP details and file manager. Oh, wow. Check that out. Maybe, perhaps, this would be a way for us to get files sent up to the web. It's asking for a username and password. Hmm, where's that? Well, I'm going to go back to my email that I got from them and see if it yields any clues. There's another one. And it doesn't, but guess what? A couple more just popped up. Here's one that tells me that my account is ready. And it tells me my domain and the IP address. And there's my username. And what's my password? I don't see it yet. Maybe this next one will have my password. Maybe not. There it is, Deep Space Nine. Log in with your email and password. Hmm. Let's see if that'll work. And it does. So the same password that I originally set up works for me. Now that we're in this file area, this is where the 000webhost.com uh, is server is going to store your files. And they're all going to be uploaded under this public underscore HTML folder. So click on the public underscore HTML folder. Everything that you upload in this class will need to be in that public underscore HTML folder. If you put it anywhere else, that's wrong. It's got to be under there. That has to be what's called your site root folder. And let's do something here. Let's create a new directory by clicking the new dir button. And I can create up to, it looks like, five different folders or directories here. So why don't we make five different folders right now? Week one, and I can tab. Week two, tab. Week three, week four, week. Okay, and to commit to making these folders in the public underscore HTML folder, we can just hit the green submit key and now I have five new folders that have been created and if I want to see them I'm going to assume I can use this blue back arrow and there they are you can see here in the directory tree under the root it's public underscore HTML that's my site root and I now have one two three four five folders that I just created under them Okay, let's, let's say that I wanted to upload a folder, which we'll talk about in another video. You can just hit the upload button. Now, this is not the best and most optimal way to upload a folder, but it's something that's available to us right now. So after you finish your first assignment in this class, I want you to navigate back here and you'll be able to upload it into your week one folder. Thanks for watching.